Inserting rational numbers between two given rational numbers. Okay, so let's write down the name of the topic. Inserting rational numbers numbers between two given rational numbers now first of all tell me one thing according to you how many rational numbers you can insert in between two given rational numbers yes we'll talk about all the Ithika. how many it means we can say infinitely many numbers we can plot in between given two rational numbers right many numbers we can use okay so we will we will learn three methods okay three or four methods are there three methods only will discuss in class so can we start with the first method that which you have already uh, taught in class eighth eighth maybe apne kar liya hai. so let's let's go for method number one now what is this method fine should i write down first of all i'm going to write it okay then it will be very clear if a and b are two yes very good if a and b are two rational numbers rational numbers then a plus b by 2 is also a rational number rational number between a and b is that the line very clear yes or no and we can say that this value a plus b by 2 is the middlemost value of a and b it should also be very clear that if i am writing a in between a and b if i am plotting a point which is a plus b divided by 2 this is the middlemost value of a and b is that so all of you let's take one example then it will be very very clear okay Ek example let let's take one example so moving forward to this side part of it so this is one number line suppose okay yes so this is one number line and one point i'm plotting this as two and another plot point i'm plotting this as three so here i'm writing this as the value of a and this as the value of b so what is a plus b divided by 2 can anybody tell me what is a plus b divided by 2 the value is 5 by 2 no need to write down in decimal okay what here so this value it is the middlemost value in between 2 and 3 so this value is nothing but 2 plus 3 divided by 2 which is equal to 5 by 2 now now my question is what is in what is the middlemost value of 2 and 5 by 2 can anybody tell me so this will show you this value only what is the middlemost value of 2 and 5 by 2 yes vavya Saraveshwar. So we can write this is nothing but 2 plus 5 by 2 divided by 2. Can I write it down in this manner? Yes or no? Yes. Now you solve it further. This will give you 4 plus 5 divided by 4, which is nothing but 9 by 4. So the value of this point, which is the middle of 2 and 5 by 2, this is 9 by 4. Suppose it is 2 and this point is 4 on a number line okay so what is the middle value of 2 and 4 can you tell me sakshi and krati 3 as simple as that is that so krati yes or no yeah 
so the middle value of 2 and 4 it is what everybody this is nothing but 3 only okay now how this 3 is coming shakshi krati any idea rithika how this 3 is coming if i write down 2 plus 4 divided by 2 is that coming 3 if it is yes then i'll continue tell me is it yes shakshi krati yes vavya Obviously, 6 by 2 equals to 3. It means this is the middle value. So, here I am using the same process only Mohit. It means I have taken A equals to 2, B equals to 4. And what is this A plus B divided by 2? This is equals to 3. And this is the middle value. So, can I say that? 3 is a rational number which is lying in between 2 and 4. 3 is a rational number which is there in between 2 and 4. So, that's how you can find the rational numbers. Okay. Now, if I want to know that what is there in between 3 and 4, then how will you find it out? Yes, now you will answer me. Tell me. So, what is the middle value of 3 and 4? Now, it's again very simple. Do the same thing. 3 plus 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 7. And 3. What is there in between 2 and 3? This is nothing but 2 plus 3 divided by 2 is equals to 5 by 2. So, from this thing, can we write down one conclusion that 5 by 2, comma 3, comma 7 by 2 are three rational numbers three rational numbers between two and four is that the part very clear can i write down this three things yes or no yes we can write down so if this part very clear to all of you should i ask you a question you have to tell me uh, one rational number, what is the middle rational number between two given numbers? Suppose this is a number line. Okay, this is a number line. Now, this value, it is 7 by 8. Okay, and this value, it is 9 by 8. Now, what is your query you have to find out you have to find out what is the middlemost value of these two things what is the middlemost value this is my question suppose it is x so what is x how to calculate all these numbers divided by 2 do you know how to calculate yes you are big enough to calculate all these simple simple things isn't it all of you so now we can write 8 into 2 here and this is 7 plus 9. So I can see that it is nothing but 1 only. Very good everybody. This is 1 only. Method number 2. Now in this method I am not going to write anything. What you were saying? Just a minute, beta. Wait, wait, wait. Kya pooch rahe ho? Let me write it down. Is it compulsory to do this calculation? Vavya, if it is, if in a question paper it is asked that, find out three rational numbers. So you have to calculate, beta. First of all, you will find one rational number. Now, by using that one rational number, you have to find another rational number. I told you, right? Vavya, how to find it out? clear so you have to calculate all this okay now method number one you can use if the number of rational numbers are like three to five suppose they are asking you find three rational numbers in between five rational numbers in between four rational numbers two rational numbers what if they are asking you to find 100 rational number 10 rational number 20 rational number question Okay, na, Vavya? Agar pucha jai, 10 rational numbers. So, this is a long process. If I use this method number 1, it will take long time to solve it. Right? But if I use this LCM method, this will take only some time. Like 2 minutes or 3 minutes to solve it. Okay? So, it depends. Fine? 
So method number two, if it is mentioned in the question that use that uh, A plus B divided by two, then go for that particular method. Okay, provided it is not mentioned, then you can go for any of these three methods. Method number two. So suppose if I write down two by five and uh, insert 10 rational numbers between 2 by 5 and 7 by 3. So what you are going to do here? Okay, not 7 by 3. Let's take some more uh, value like 1 by 3 I'm taking. Any problem? Okay. So you are saying that I should take the LCM. Take it. Very good. So the process, beta, the process is to take, since the number is bigger, means you have to take 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 rational numbers. So here the process is to take the LCM of the denominators. What is the LCM of denominators? Can anybody tell me? This is 50. Very good. Now try to make the denominator as 50. So if I take the first number, 2 by 5, so we can write 2 into 3, 5 into 3. Can I write it down, everyone? We can. Now we will use the concept of this standard form or simplest form. Can you remember that? That there is, it is not the unique process to represent a number in P by Q format. There can be infinitely many ways to represent a number in this P by Q format. Right? So, if I write it down, this as 6 into 100 divided by 15 into 100. Then also it is true. Koi problem? No. So, here I am using 600 divided by 1500. Okay? Now, leave it here. Now, let's take the another value. 1 by 3. Now, again, make the denominators equal 15. So, 1 into 3. 1 into 5, 3 into 5. If I'm doing anything wrong, you have to tell me. So this is 5 by 15. Any problem, anybody? No? Now this will this will be equals to, again, you have to take, you have to make equal, right? Equal denominators. So since you are multiplying by 100 in the next step, you have to multiply 100 in this case also. It is not like a happy many hundreds multiply kia and in this second number you are multiplying it by 1000. Don't do that. Okay. You have to make equal denominators. Remember that in mind. You can take 200 Sakshi. You can take 500. I have taken 100. Now it is up to you. Whatever you want to take. You can take 11. You can take 22. Right. Any number. But it, the number should be same for both this case. Okay? Okay? Now look at this. At last, you should get equal denominators. Can you see that this is also 1500? The first one, it is also 1500. Now this is 500. Can you check this out, everybody? Yes. So 10 rational numbers only I need. So can I write down that the uh, first rational number, this will give you 501 divided by 1500. Yes. Next, I can write down 502 divided by 1500. Anything you may write. Next, you can write down 550 divided by 1500. This is also valid. Yes. Vavya, can you see that it is very simple, right? Now, you can also write 590 divided by 1500. Okay. So, so many things you may write. Okay. These are in between. 500 divided by 1500 and 600 divided by 1500. Is that the process very clear to everyone or should I take one more example? Clear everybody? Done? One more process is there to write down. I am going to show you one organized method. Okay, organized method to write down. This is, if I write 600, just a minute. 500 divided by 1500. 
can we make it in simple form that's what i'm writing in organized format okay if you're writing in simple format you can do it but no need to calculate okay no need to write in simple format less than this 501 divided by 1500 less than 502 divided by 150 it is the organized method to write it down okay is tarike se bhi aap likh sakte ho in your examination you can write in this manner also correct so is there any problem anybody in this or it is very very clear to everybody no problem theek hai so there can be homework like if it is if it is the question that 11 divided by 15 and 17 divided by uh 17 divided by 16 so you have to insert how many rational numbers insert 20 rational numbers so can you solve it all of you this is your homework okay try to solve it <clears throat> 